In, in all of our projects that we do all over the world, there is an underlying, an underlying inspiration that is meant to, to try to understand the beauty of the place that we're building in. So here in Jakarta, I, and as you probably know, I've been building in Jakarta for 36 years now. Here in Jakarta, we try to understand, um, in this particular case, the batik as a, as a big inspiration. So it's the patterning. You can see the patterning, not so much batik here, but in everything that we're building uh, hardscape-wise and bronze-wise, we've tried to use uh, traditional Javanese uh, batiks as inspiration. As you, as you probably know, that years and years ago, um, there are actually elephants on this island, right? On this island of Java. So, and, and I don't know if you know, but in recent years, I've become very much a conservationist and have a property in Cambodia called Chintamani Wild. And that property is all about the conservation of the Cambodian National Forest. So in here, as we walk around, we see the elephants and it's a reminder about that the wildlife doesn't necessarily, is not going to last forever unless we protect it. So that's what we're doing in a lot of our projects these days is about the protection of wildlife. And in fact, I'm working now in the Congo, uh, not because it's some place that we're gonna make a lot of money, but it's a place that is, uh, is a place that needs conservation, very much so. so the elephants here is a nod to, let's be careful. The key, the key highlight here is that, is that it's, a very urban, it's a very urban place, right, Jakarta. And I found that if you take a, a small space and you break it up into even smaller spaces, into pocket gardens, which is what we've done here, that it creates a feeling of, a one space after another, and it creates this feeling of, well, this place is actually bigger than I thought it was. And it, and it allows the guests to have a, a sense of discovery. And that's very important in our work, the sense of discovery. If somebody can come back here two or three or four days and discover something different, like I never noticed that, you know, that, that funny mobile over there with those big globes, if someone can tell me that on day four, I'm really happy. Um, what makes it unique is that every single piece of artwork, every single piece of, of furniture, every single piece of, even every single wall that you see, we've never done that before and we've never seen it anywhere else. So it's not just about the floor, it's not, it's not just about you know, the, the swimming pools, etc. It's about every single detail. Every piece of sculpture is that, is that because we've been in this game for a design game for a long time. And one of the things I tell my, my family of designers is that once we start repeating ourselves, we're done, right? So nothing can come from another project. Everything must be unique. The, the discovery of, I want to convey to the guests that Nobody likes a big hotel, and I especially don't like big hotels. So with the, with the garden design, we specifically created a series of spaces which are very residential in scale. Scale is very important to us. It's about, um, and if I feel like I'm coming over to somebody's house. So you can see here, there's two lounge chairs here. There's two lounge chairs here. Maybe there's a couple over here. It's very residential in its scale. So that's, that's what I want to feel. I want the, this, this place, that's, since the very beginning, I wanted the St. Regis Jakarta to feel as though it is somebody's house. It's as simple as that. <laughs> well, that, you know, that's very much playing the contrast of, of things Indonesian, but what is, what is the future in design and what is the past of design? And any times that you can overlay history on top of modernism, that, that creates this, this tension. And sometimes it works nicely, 
I think here it's fantastic. What do you think?